Ah, thank you for watching the 2019 Jacksonville Open. I'm Holly Finley with Team Innova. And I'm Ellen Widboom, also with Team Innova. Thanks for joining us. So we've got here a great group of ladies uh, for the 2019 Jacksonville Open, and Ellen's leading us off. We're actually starting on hole nine. I believe I'm throwing a uh, Star Destroyer here, a little bit lighter weight, 168. Just trying to get over the water, honestly, it's set up for the second shot. Talk about a psych out hole to start out on. Okay, ladies, just throw right over this lake. <laughs> Talk about a psych out squirrel, Elaine, just not even <laughs> seeing it on the ground there. And great drive. Not sure what Madison throws here. I want to say it's maybe a shrike. I was going to say the same. Yeah. Repping her Savage Ultimate jersey. Check them out online, they're great. So the Flamingos, great shot. I'm throwing a Star Katana. I'm really okay with landing anywhere um, over the water. Right, exactly. This is one of the tougher par threes on the course just because you're trying to play the Mandos and then also avoid all these trees and that's a great placement shot. Probably pick the Firebird here, just to, I play the skip with the Firebird. That's really all I want to do. Make sure it hits the ground. That's fast green out there, really deadpan, so it's easy to get the skip. I've got an OG Mako. Nothing outside of your uh, your wheelhouse for sure. So Ooh, you I like further. the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Madison went around the shrubs. Yeah, and like you said, this is a tough first hole to start on. Hole nine, just, it's 443 par three over the water with, I think, a double Mando with a sidewalk OB on the left. You get a four on this, it feels like par. I agree with that. Elaine looking at her three. Solid putt from Elaine. I expected her to make it. I was going to say, I expect nothing less from Elaine. She is... Nothing if not consistent. Good putt from Madison. I think she also got, yep, got the three on this. Really, and we had great weather for this weekend. Uh, it was in March and a lot of people showed up. My parents actually showed up the day prior and surprised me and watched my round and followed me around. It was a good weekend altogether. Thanks for our uh, supporter disc bear in there. Yeah. Hole 10, another one over the water. You just play back basically to where you just came from and I threw a destroyer and didn't give it enough. Trying to go for the, trying to, I cut off more than I could chew. If you don't want to um, commit to throwing over the water, you can easily take this land-only shot like Elaine did out to the left, and that's still a fairly simple three. Yep. Madison's going for it here. I believe that's a strike again. Full commitment. Ooh, great shot. Yep, she'll have a look. I'm kind of like Elaine. I wanted to avoid the um, lake, but I also wanted to go over a little bit of the lake, and I think I was stuck between the commitment and the non-commitment. <laughs> yep. Uh, here I am playing it really safe to avoid the water again on my drop zone shot. But yeah, you still have a decent look at the basket from where you are. I, choose, I chose a XT Bullfrog for my upshot. I wanted it to fade left, and then because of the XT, it can help grab the ground when it lands. Ah, oh, unfortunate branch. I think she's Who right circles. There? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laying up. That's kind of a dangerous putt with the water. It's a smart play, though. Take my medicine. Also with the layup. And Madison looking for birdie. Just 
just a little low, but that'll be a no stress tap in for her par. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have been giving those people. I heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> giving somebody a, a, some type of stare down there. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I'm the one who didn't make the make the putt. So. Exactly, and it was a good bit at it as well, just a little bit of a spit out. I unfortunately take the double bogey on this hole, but you know, six, 16 more holes left, plenty of disc golf. See what happens. That's a good mentality to have. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Madison is dropping hers in for the par with her little disc clap together. Thanks to our Patreon supporter there, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Hole 11, par 4, and every bit of it. I believe this is actually a combination of two holes. I would agree with that. That's what the tournament director told me they did to make it a little bit more difficult for us. So the normal basket is usually up to the right by the sidewalk, but this one is out kind of in that direction in the trees around the corner, also by the sidewalk, but all of 668 feet. And this is actually slightly uphill. I think I'm throwing a Starlight Boss here, just landing anywhere in the field so I can get an open look at the next shot. And I got a Star Destroyer trying to weave it through the trees, get a decent position for my uh, next shot. And I believe I'm throwing the same disc again. Just get it around, kind of play the skip on it. Again, the grass is really low. Yep, there it is. Starlight Boss again, just trying to get a full flight out of it. Looks great. Great turnover shot. And Elaine, going up the gut. This one, this one's a bonus, bonus three if you get this one. It it's is. It's so far down there and with the OB sidewalk on the right, your second shot is super vital if you want to get that that three. And Madison had the right line just a little low. And I'm pretty sure I went back to back to back destroyer shots. Worked out great. <laughs> it worked out just <laughs> fine. A little tap in par. Looks like I'm throwing a star roadrunner hoping for just a straight flight somewhere in the circle. And this was on a Sunday, so the park was super busy. We got tons of people walking on the sidewalks. It was a it was a decently long route. Oh, oh little tink tink. Ping. Elaine trying to throw it in. I guess there's two ways you can get a birdie on this hole. I probably called her a show off after that. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been her rhino. She, I was she, throws say. The, she throws a rhino a lot for upshots, and she can probably throw it 200 feet on a straight line. It's fun to watch her throw that disc. Oh, I'm slightly outside the circle. Uh, if you don't know what that means, they paint the circle at about 33.3 feet away from the basket. So when someone says they're slightly outside the circle, you can count the steps off and sort of get an idea of how far you are away. Um, you can gauge the height of your putt and nice. how much power or whatever you want to put on it. Yeah. When in doubt, walk it out. Woo! Zung that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's like to hit that band and have that run at the at the par and that putt and it feels like it's going in and, and then denied. <laughs> Short walk to hole twelve and thanks to our Patreon supporter Rumble. Appreciate the support. Thanks, Rumble. This is a fun hole. Uh, for me, at least for a sidearm player, that's a great shot by Madison. The trees are pretty far apart, so you can weave it through, and it's a 480-foot par 4. The 3 is definitely gettable on this hole. This is a great hyzer route by Elaine. There's so many different uh, routes you can take to the basket. You know, I think the 
first time I tried the center root and then I decided I liked the hyzer root better. Yep, here I am with the same Star Destroyer flexing around the trees, just trying to get an open shot at that gap. That is a double Mando, where you see that basket. There are two trees that you have to get it between. Star Katana, hyzer root, landed right in the middle. It's still a fairly long distance to the basket, so I'm throwing a Roadrunner right up the gut. Perfect. Think your circle's edge. Get through there. Yep. She'll have a look. I made it? Okay. <laughs> Elaine confirming with her caddy that she actually made it. <laughs> Whew! Thank you, tree. Just barely stayed left of that mando tree. This might be a gator? Oh, and as you can see, there is the double mando trees by the basket, so. Yeah. Long look for birdie for me, throwing my glow yeti AVRs just a bit oh. outside. And a nice little roll away. <laughs> but some, you gotta go for it. When you're that close, you gotta you go for to it. have sometimes. Lane with the oh. flick shot. Flick Annie. That's such I love a great it. shape, didn't it? That was. <laughs> I she laughs because that's not a normal herself. shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, so I put with a stud. Those are fairly straight. I Fires? think they're uh, stable to overstable okay. putters. Well, you make them look straight, so nice. I think that comes from the spin a little bit, probably. Okay. Nice putt. Thanks. Getting the par, moving along. Just happy to have made the double mando. I think Madison putts with a Colt. Okay. Yeah, hey, I think I've seen that in her hand before. So it looks like two birdies and two pars. And moving on to hole 13. Thanks to our Patreon supporter, Mr. Bill Sherman. Madison still has the box here. So we're at hole 13, another par four. Just left of her, there's a mando tree, so you have to go right, but there's really no reason you'd want to go left of that. Probably a star destroyer Madison chose off the tee there. I've got a Starlight Boss, 157 gram. That's a great line, nice setup for your second shot. I'm not entirely sure what Elaine throws. To be honest, I, I'm not too familiar with MVP plastic. I just know what she throws usually goes pretty straight. <laughs> and that's a great shot. Perfect shot. Here I am lining up. I'm pretty sure this is a Star Strike. Trying to get that flex line not really hoping for a roller, but if it had turned into one, it wouldn't have been too bad, but still in a decent position for my next shot. <sighs> I'd say from where we land on our drives, we all feel like it's possible to get up there for a three. I would agree. There's just a little bit of vines and moss. You can see the Florida moss hanging down really pretty, but it will knock your disc down. Giving it a run. Oh. oh. Yeah. Nice. That's a really good tree kick. Get through there. Get through there. And what a great flex shot by Elaine. Perfect. This one again plays slightly uphill and there's a berm in front of us and it kind of uh, like a little, I'll say undulation as a tour. There I am just laying up Hoping to get the par. Yep. Nice shot. Madison looking at the three. Yeah. Great nice putt. putt. Let's see if Elaine can 
holler back. Again, there's so many people out there. There's just this walking path that weaves throughout all the holes. It's it's a little dangerous. So we really just got to take your time. And she took her time and she waited and it capitalized on that. Birdie for Elaine, birdie for Madison. That is really good. That's really good. So just like last hole, two, two pars and two birdies it looks like. At this point, we got a really tight race going on. There's a couple strokes within each, within each of us. Thanks, Pete Cashin, for your support of this video. Looks like Madison had one of her Tour Series strikes she was throwing on this hole. Or it could have been the Thunder Picker. I couldn't quite mm -hmm. tell. Mm-hmm. Really not a whole lot of danger on this hole unless you throw, if you over throw the basket, there is that road as you can see with the cars behind it. But you're trying to, you're trying to get the birdie and or ace on this hole. There is the possibility for that. It's 300 feet, slightly uphill. And I'm taking the Star Destroyer, trying to get that skip out of it on the flex line. Get it up there. Park City. Within the circle. Oh. A little short. She's going to have an interesting putt. I'm not really sure if she's right there between those two trees. Might have to break out a straddle putt. You don't get a lot of ground play on this sandy terrain, which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, when you can count on a play like that for the disc to come to rest. It's all part of the game. Oh, we boom. Oh. Yeah, I knew it out of my hand. It's frustrating when you make it in the circle and you can't capitalize. We yeah. all know how that feels, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Madison with a straddle putt. Great Good focus shot. from Madison there. I'm sure you could hear a little bit of talking in the background. Some people aren't sensitive to that sort of thing, but for others, any sort of auditory distraction is hard to push through. Whew. Somehow stayed in and moving on. Sometimes you got to take <laughs> a little bit more time on your putts. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, everybody taps out for their par. Moving on across the road to hole 15. And uh, thank you to Maverick Disc Golf for your support. Appreciate Toasted it. with peanut butter. Oh, okay. It's, it's not anything weird to I was have like, for breakfast. Did you just pull out a barbecue sandwich? That is so <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> Me questioning Elaine what type of snack she's having because I'm nosy and I love snacks. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't offer to share any with me, as you can see. <laughs> I probably had my own snack. You probably had your bacon. <laughs> Egg bacon. Everybody needs some. <laughs> so Madison pumping one out there, but unfortunately gets caught up in this little tree here. This is a par four. The sidewalk on the right's OB, and there is a mando tree on the left that you have to go right of to prevent from throwing into the other tee pad. I've got a Star Katana, 166 grams. I'm really just happy to land anywhere in the field so I can have a nice, clean hyzer approach for my upshot. That's a great shot. Uh, I believe here I'm, again, Star Destroyer. That's what you're going to see on most of these holes. Just trying to flex it out there and get in position for the second shot. I think Madison had a full send, hoping to possibly get up to the basket, but unfortunately clipped the limb and sort of took most of the power out of that shot. I don't really remember if it was windy today. I think, I think there was a little breeze out there. You generally get it on the flat ground. That's a decent shot up there. So consistent. 
Yeah, you can see there must be some sort of cross breeze. It looks like it's getting up under the disc and kiting it over to the left a little bit. Trying to play the skip off the ground here with a firebird and just get an unfortunate kick and roll. About how far do you uh, throw your shots for your Firebird? Firebird, if it's anywhere under 280 feet, that's my max of the Firebird. Okay. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's, that's a good putt. Should be able to get that one. Looks like the wind died a little bit. And a lane going over the out of bounds. And parking. Looks like the stud. Yep. We've got two putting studs and one throwing <laughs> stud. <laughs> oh, just clip that. Too branch. high and I got twiggled. Man. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. That's a good one. <laughs> Going over, really just trying to get it anywhere close to the basket over that. A little bit of a blind shot. Trying to save the four here. Hands Ooh. it from circle. So that's probably 35, 38 feet. I'd say so, Great yeah. Great putt. That felt good for sure. You know, when you mess up your upshot, oh, why did I do that? Yep. You just kind of be like, like, all right, well, yes, I just got to make this putt. It. <laughs> Madison, just a bit. Madison just a bit off there. <laughs> And you know, it adds an extra level of like mental stress and concentration needed. You got the sirens in the background, the jogger on the left. It's just yep. so much going on. The squirrels. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff running around out here. And we actually had a round where there was a lady by the fence screaming at somebody in the house across the fence. And we're just trying to play through I'm wondering if we should even play through. Let me tell you. I was pretty crazy out there. Thank you, Team Jenkins. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Elaine King starting us off here on hole 16. We've got another par four. So I think there is an out of bounds on the left that maybe you can't quite see here. I feel, I think this one had a double mando on the left side. These two tree, at least one tree you had to go right of. And then it's got that OB line marked with the flags and then OB right on the road. Oh, that was a really good throw. Thanks, Star Destroyer. Just trying to flex it around the trees. Get far enough right so that you can have a decent second shot to the right of that Mando. And Madison gripping it. Headed towards the OB. I'm pretty sure she stayed safe. Probably because it was a Star Destroyer. <laughs> yep. You know it's going to come back. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it stayed safe. So you could tell from her funny reaction, you know, she didn't quite mean to throw it over to the right of that tree, but it worked out after all. Mm -hmm. Another great shot by Elaine. Madison with the sidearm. You don't really see a whole lot of sidearms that, that much from Madison anymore after her injury, but she shows she still got it. What'd you throw there? It's a star katana. Just trying to get as much distance as I can with the low ceiling. Nice. Well, I'm going to say that was either a Shrike or Destroyer. Kinda, Ooh, that kinda was It kind of looked great. like a Shrike line, but thanks. Just hoping not to hit some trees. Yep. Great play by Elaine. Way to play the hole. Just a nice, easy up, no stress putt. Mm -hmm. Get off of it. Yeah. You guys are making this look easy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a slight headwind of this. This flag kind of took off a little bit. I feel like you're trying to throw that in. I was giving it a little bit of a half go. I was like, if I get it high enough, there's really no danger of going out of bounds from that distance. So I figured I'd 
give it something. And I mean, at this point, it's there's only a few strokes between each of the players. You're at 13, Madison at 10, and Elaine and I are one stroke apart. Absolutely. Do there's, you know the score? Do you keep up with it while you're playing? I didn't look for this round. I kind of Thanks, knew, Tony! Hey, Tony! I kind of knew where, generally, wherever ever, everybody was doing. But no, I try not to look, because I'm just going to play my game anyway, so it really doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. Or it shouldn't. Elaine hits a tree there, but, you know, this is a par four, so mm -hmm. she's got space to do a full flight shot for the next one. And this is a combination, again, of two holes. I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, you can see the other teapad over there for the second hole of the combination of these. And I'm throwing a destroyer because trying to get it at least past these trees take out the danger of hitting one. Works out okay. I think I got on the other side of them. Looks like Madison was throwing a factory second sidewinder. Oh, okay, um, yeah. She uses for some really long distance turnover shots. I do love a good sidewinder. I know that Christine Jennings throws them a lot, and then I like to throw them for my forehand shots for kind of get out of jail type situations. Just put a little bit of Annie on them, let them float. So as you can see, Madison's having a little bit of trouble there trying to figure out how to throw when she's pinned up against the fence. But I'd say when you're stuck and you can only do a standstill, that is pretty dang good. That was a great out from where she was. Wow. So you just want to bite off, you know, as much distance as you can on the second shot and hopefully get right up there by the basket. Yep. You can see the flag on the basket there behind all those trees. There's a couple openings. You can actually take a, a, round, a roundabout route if you get that far left. A round boot. A round boot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks Madison nice. Madison going for it. Oof. Hard to tell where that landed. Yeah. I feel like she's somewhere circle's edge. Playing with her third shot. And that got sawed off a little bit in the left and she looks to be in the shrubs. This is my Sexton Firebird. Excellent. Just trying to get it through. I know if I put enough power on it, it's going to cut through some shrubs. It's throwing the putter there, the stud, but looks like it was a little gusty right there by the basket. The putter turned over a bit and dropped a foot or two yeah. in midair, but... Madison for par. Drop, drop. Oh. oh! Wow. Man. Sometimes so, that's almost worse than missing it completely because you get that feeling of that... That it's going uh, in. Yes, and... Oh. Uh, this is a good try. You look... This is for your par. Great putt. Yeah, that felt good. Couldn't tell if that was an angry pull out of the basket there or if you... I was like... I think I wanted my upshot to be a little bit closer, gotcha. you know? <laughs> Lane for bogey. It is. And tap in for par. All right, that is the front half. Yeah, thanks for watching the front half of the Jacksonville Open. We'll see you for the other. Thanks, William, for your support.